but we were in the last two years. Wait, not Three even. years. Yeah. You're supposed we to have been here. You didn't show up. Now. No, no man. You, not just today. I was there with ticket. No, you supposed to. You supposed we to show up the last couple years. It's like, the last yo, years. Where's, you know. You know what? I missed the flight. <laughs> last year? Uh, yeah, last two years I missed the last flight. Last two years. Uh, so I just decided to go back home no to, doubt. Uh, to Houston. Yeah. No doubt. Well, we're glad you decided to join us this year. Um, I, I know for guys, you know, there's a lot of different successes you can have as a player, but. Is this the one that you cross off that list when you when you show up to All Star Weekend and say, "All right, now you know now we're making some headway"? Because if between championships and, and this being the highest individual honor you could have, I don't know what else will be on that list. Man, um, you know, for me, just being like you know, coming in and trying to set a name and mark defensively, um, defensive player of the year is definitely something that is uh, is big on a lot of my list, and just, you know, a lot of the big guys and guys who take pride in defending, but. Um, yeah, this is definitely a huge honor for me, man, just to be out here and be named uh, amongst some of my peers as, you know, the, our best basketball players it, it is amazing, man. And to be able to do it, you know, as a defender and a, and, and a rebounder, it, it makes me feel good for, you know, guys like Dennis Rodman and, yeah. and Ben Wallace, right, guys like yeah. that who kind of set the tone before. So that's amazing, man. Yeah. We're taking uh, questions right now, people watching live on Facebook or asking us questions. Um, what can we expect from you in the dunk contest? Man, um, I'm going to try to make it exciting. Um, we haven't had a big guy win it in a while, uh, so I just want to go out there and, and, and have a good time, man, and, um, and, and just kind of have fun with it. What's yeah. better, taking a vacation or being an all-star? Oh, <laughs> Maybe both. That's really tough. If you can do both, though. How much both. time you guys got? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I think that, you know, all-star, it, it speaks for itself, man. It, it, it's amazing to be down here, especially just to experience this with my family and my friends. You know, as this being my first time is, is amazing, man. And uh, I just want to take all this in this weekend. And, um, and hopefully this not, may not be, the, be my last, but no, definitely. I definitely want to build off this. Definitely. The, the, the Clippers, y'all stay in the news, it seems like, <laughs> one way or another, like every season. Internally, you know, you hear people talking about the West and who's rising, who's falling, who's who's getting ready to hit whatever this summer. As a group, you know, just amongst yourselves, are you guys looking at – everybody talk about this being a make-or-break year for y'all. Is it make-or-break internally in, in that locker room? I think that every year should be like that, mentally. Um, you know, our core group has been together for six years. Um, and then, you know, guys like Jamal and JJ have been there five years with us. And it's um, – we, we really need those guys, man. But, you know, every year I feel like we've been, we've had a chance. We've been a, a really good team, but something happens. We catch an injury or, you know, it, it's been there for the past few years. But, you know, and we're going through it now, which yeah. which is definitely not a, a, a pleasant thing. But, you know, once we get back to full strength, and I feel like we'll be playing that great basketball again. And, you know, we got to build off that. And I'm not worried about it. I just want to focus on what we got going now. And then when we cross that bridge, we'll, we'll cross it. Do you feel it all like? At least we're going through it now and not in May. Yeah, I don't want to go through it during the playoffs again. Yeah. I'd, rather, I'd, rather it, I'd rather it happen now. And, you know, last year was just was bizarre, man. Both of those guys going out in the same game. It was, it, it, it was crazy. But, um, you know, I'd rather go through these growing pains now. And But I, our team is playing great, man. And guys like Austin and Raymond and – uh, and, and, and our other guards are definitely picking it up. And whenever they, whenever Chris does come back, we'll be at full strength and, and super confident. Yeah, this this landscape in the league is so strange now. You know, where you got, you know, four or five years ago, everybody thought guys were going to be wherever they were, and that was Kevin it, Durant you know? just gave you some side eye. And you know, <laughs> speaking of yeah, this guy's <laughs> following me. Speaking of the side eye, yeah. But things, you know, KD is a perfect example of how quickly things can change yeah. in this league. Are you cognizant of that as players that, hey, like you said, every year needs to be make or break right. year because you don't know what's going to change from year to year? Yeah, you don't know, man, and it's, it, that's the nature of our business, man. But we've, we've been together six years, and it, it, it's been great, but we definitely want to, you know, get over that hump. And uh, we don't want to, you know, people to say that we couldn't do it. And for us, too, we want to be able to feel like we have done something good here with this team, and especially a team who hasn't, we haven't, you know, won a championship. Right. and. That'll be that'll be something big that we want to do for ourselves and, and for the organization and, and for our fans as well. Max, that thing out, DeAndre Jordan. Yes, sir. All Star Weekend. Thank Good you to guys. see you here. Finally, glad you finally made that flight. Yeah, I got him. In my Appreciate flight. you finally getting here. <laughs>